Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much to Andy for joining us today for our testimony slot. It's so good to have you, Andy. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Andy's got some history with St. George's Church, I believe, and uh, will be known to many of you watching. It's great to have you back with us. Um, Andy, you were involved uh, in ministry across the town. Tell me what you've been up to lately. Okay, um, lately I, well, lately I actually just stepped down as chair of trustees after of the chaplaincy after eight years and um, I'm going to continue working for the chaplaincy uh, and um, uh, possibly on fundraising but also other projects and uh, so I certainly have not uh, finished my involvement with the chaplaincy at all, I'll continue to support it. And incidentally, can I thank St George's for your support, financial support for us over the years. It's been uh, it's been great, and uh, really, we're we're very very grateful for you. Wonderful stuff. Um, and uh, Andy, tell me a bit more about the the chaplaincy. So we hear we we see the building in town. We see we hear lots about it. But what does a town you know what do the town chaplains actually and you particularly what do you actually do? Right, what we do is we provide um, emotional and spiritual support, sometimes practical support, to um, people in need. And we, we provide a listening ear to people. So what, what we've got is we've got, at the moment, we've got six uh, clusters of work, as we call them. We've got chaplains, we've got 35 volunteers in total. Um, with the team being headed up by Adrian Price Sankey. Um, and those 35 volunteers work in uh, shops, they work in offices, in care homes, with the marginalised and the homeless, at the railway station, and in the open spaces and parks. And this year, uh, we're intending to start chaplaincy at the magistrates court in taunton is something we've been wanting to do for a long time so by the end of the year we will have seven uh, clusters of work that we're involved with it's fantastic and and tell me you've been working a little bit with county the county council haven't you tell me a bit yes, about, more about that yeah <clears throat> yes i was a chaplain at county hall for eight years i've now handed over to a lady who worships in the black downs at rosemary lane chapel actually barbara um, so what I did each week, I went in for a morning, I uh, walked slowly through the open plan offices, uh, spoke to people if they didn't appear too busy, you always got to respect <clears throat> people's individual um, working spaces and you, you certainly don't approach people if they're hunched over their computer. Uh, look uh, with a deadline looming but um, it over time you know you you build up uh, trust with people and you become eventually um, welcomed as a trusted friend as a chaplain and I had the benefit of a, a little room to myself that if people wanted a private conversation they could come and have a chat and you know I, I could we could pray if it was appropriate um, I could pray for them or say that I would pray for them later um, or use both. But sometimes, you know, just uh, just a smile is as good as anything, I think. And um, it's basically showing the love of God uh, to people um, who are in a stressful situation, as most people are in the workplace today, of course. Mm. Mm. And Andy, you, you previously worked for County Hall, didn't you? So how yeah. how is that going from... You know being an employee a colleague to a minister i mean that's 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 mm. how did that feel um well before i started it felt quite strange and i wasn't really sure whether it was perhaps the best thing to do but uh, but a i think i i was comfortable with operating in an office environment i understood the pressures and 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 way that people worked there so i had i had a an empathy for what they were trying to do and the difficulties that they had. And finally, uh, the fact that I knew um, a number of people there when I started was a, was a great benefit, actually, uh, in um, becoming accepted by, you know, the rest of the workforce, because that takes time. It's really interesting. The international missions now, they, they're shifting their strategy from one of 
um, going and doing things for people to trying to raise up local missionaries. So they call it indigenous missionary mission oh, yeah. rather yeah. than something that's done from afar. And so in a sense, Andy, you're an indigenous missionary to uh, <laughs> County, <laughs> County yes. Hall. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. And, and I wonder if you can tell me, I mean, you, obviously we want you to respect confidence, but um, were there any sort of t any stories where you thought, yes, this is, this is, you know, I know that the Lord is with me here in, in this space and doing this, this ministry. Anything you can share with us? Um, I think, um, I think over time, I, I can remember uh, one particular person I supported through um, a difficult time in his life um, with uh, his marriage. And, um, you know, we were, we remain friends and I, I, I see him from time to time in, in the street um, and, you know, continue to inquire about how things are for him. So, yeah, a, a number, there are a number of times I can think that um, I knew that I built up that relationship with that person and um, I knew that the Lord was working because, um, you know, encounters don't, sometimes encounters, I suppose, happen randomly, but sometimes encounters don't. And um, I think there are times in which I sense that the Lord was definitely with me uh, in putting somebody in my path, I think. Um, yeah, so I would say that most definitely, most definitely. It's one of those times when you say, uh, I, I don't know how prayer works, but I know that when I pray, stuff happens. And I don't know, uh, yeah, you know that's, that's right. sort of how you that's right. encounter people. Uh, that, in that's right. Ways. That's right. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, for me, I think the most important thing in chaplaincy is just to be natural mm. uh, and um, not appear that you're, you know, you're any more special than anybody else. Use the gifts that you've got, whatever they are. And God, you know, calls us all, doesn't he, to to um, to use gifts. And uh, other people may have different gifts that they can offer as well. And I think that's one of the great things about being a team. You know, chaplains can support one another. And we meet once a month in prayer and uh, for mutual support. Mm. So if, if we have people listening to this either online or in the service and they're thinking to themselves, I'd love to. This sounds. I could. I. I. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. What would you say to them? What can they do? Well, I would say have an informal chat with um, either myself or Adrian Price Sankey, our lead chaplain, and contact us through your administrator, Bethan, on your website. If um, people would like to join our prayer team, we have, we've got about a hundred people that regularly pray for us. And we send a, a prayer bulletin out every fortnight for uh, the team, for the particularly for the people that we meet um, and for the town. Uh, I would say for the uh, people we meet, we always ask their permission uh, to go on to this um, prayer headlines, as we call it. And we never um, say who they are. We anonymize it. We never indicate who they might work for. So it's it's completely anonymous. And over the 11 years that we've been running, um, we've had some amazing answers to prayer, you know, as you would expect, but uh, we're so grateful for that. That's really good stuff, mm. really good stuff. Mm. All praise, you know, sometimes people can be down on the church in Taunton and say, oh, nothing's happening, da da da. But the Lord is at work and uh, you guys are a major yes. ministry in this yes. town. Um, I think that's another thing I just want to emphasise, Nick, that um, we are part of the church in Taunton, not separate from it. That's, that's so right. important. You know, we have chaplains from, I think it's 11 different churches, all denominations, Christian churches in the town, which is wonderful, I think. Uh, wonderful to see that unity, yeah. you know, yeah. amongst the churches. It's really good, it's really good. Mm. Andy, can I pray for you and for the Ministry of Taunton Town Chaplaincy? Would that be okay? That would be lovely. Thank you, Nick. Thank, thank you so you. much. My Father in heaven, thank you so much for Andy, for his willingness to serve at County Hall. And we pray for those contacts, those seeds that he sowed 
all across that place, that they would grow up to new life in you. We pray, Lord, for the ministry of Taunton Town Chaplaincy, and we pray that, Lord, your, your increase on it. We pray for good favour with those businesses they're wanting to meet with and support. Mm -hmm. And we pray for those chaplains as they go among the highways and byways of this town, that you would be with them and they would know your presence and your spirit. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Andy, God bless you. Thank you so much for your time. You. God bless you, Nick. Thank Glad you. To see you again. Bye-bye then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.